This is a sorrel seed. This is kale. So guys, what I'm trying to do is to make another bed going down here. So I'll have to dig down a little bit. I'll have to put a piece of board that will run from here all the way to there and then fill this up with soil. So that's why I am digging out here because I figure I could use instead of just having grass and weeds grow let's plant some food here so that's what I'm trying to do well <clears throat> as you can hear uh, my heart is racing <laughs> but I already um, got out all of this I'm gonna pull out the weeds and um, but yeah I just have to continue working along here my hair is 137 did you see that 137 because of trying to shovel this out so I have to take breaks so that I don't get too dizzy Okay guys, so this is the progress that I've made so far in digging out my trench in order to make a new garden bed. So what I'm doing is this soil that I'm taking out here, I am going to mix it with some manure and some soil that I bought. Mix everything together and then I'm going to fill back here this trench with the amended soil okay so this is as far as I got I am going to stop at that point there so I'm just going to clear out that what you see here and then I'm going to square up my edges and then what I'm going to do is simply work on um, starting to amend the soil like mix everything together the manual this soil the soil that I bought and then we will start to fill it back so I won't worry to put any board here because I figure if I fill it back with soil then you know that that should be good enough so uh, I'm not going to worry to show it up with any any pieces of board so yeah so this is what I did yesterday this is as far as I got so I'm gonna do a little more today because as I showed you uh, when I do this, my heart rate goes up really high, so I can't push myself too much. I have to just do a little every day until I get this project completed. All right, so is back to work. Okay guys, so I finished cleaning out my trench so now I'm going to put some manual on the bottom there and then I'm going to mix this soil here and with some soil that I bought and then we're going to fill back um, the ground and so that we can plant in this section here
guys this manual this manual that I got here is full of worms so that's very good you see that it's full of worms so that's very good So as you can see, I have completed working on this garden bed. And so now it's all ready for me to start planting. So this project is finally over. So I just wanted to show you a little gardening tip here. So when you have your toilet rolls, don't throw them away. You can actually bury this in your garden and the worms actually loves the cardboard very much so this helps well it makes the worms very happy and it also helps to aerate the soil as well and it, it can act like a home for the worms but eventually it will they will um, munch on it so to speak and this will break down in your garden so this is one of the things that you can save in order to bury in your garden all right so let's do a little garden tour so here i have my tomatoes as you can see they they look very nice okay i have um i just have to wait for the sun to ripen them now i need to go through and see where i need to prune and take out suckers like i can see there's a sucker grain up there so i will have to deal with that and hand pollinate some of these other flowers here i have not hand pollinated these flowers for a while so i need to address that if i want to make sure that i continue to get tomatoes all right, so there's even tomatoes all in here, guys. Look at that. I have tomatoes all over. So my tomatoes here is really doing well. There's tomatoes there as well. I'll probably go from the other side. All right, so this is the new plot that I prepared for um, planting at the side here. I have some plants growing in the pots here. This is Wonder of the World and Panadol bush growing in this one. I have some ginger here. I want to plant some more ginger. This is another Pan Panadol bush that I salvaged. I need to tie this up to this pole here. I need to get a tie for it. See, it's only falling down this here is my bush basil but I did plant another one in the garden here I have um, some lemongrass and I'm trying to catch here I have the lettuce my lettuce has burst through this is the carrots I'm still waiting for that to come true and just pull these out so they'll get sun so I will bury my toilet paper roll right here I'll just drop it here I'll come back to do that show you guys that so here you can see my pepper is getting big I have another pepper here this pack choy here and this pack choy here was damaged by my dog Hopefully it catches itself. I need to do a little bit of weeding. I'm seeing some weeds coming up. And I'm noticing that something is eating my plant. So what I'm going to do is get a net to cover it in the night so that um, it will prevent whatever com is coming into my garden and eating 
my pak choy and even pepper leaves as well I need to cover cover that so this is again my tomatoes here as you can see we have a bumper crop of tomatoes coming along we just need the sun to ripen it now and here I have my other tomatoes that are coming up so these are bigger because these are just in the open these two are small and I think it's because my lantana is coming over so I'm gonna have to prune this lantana but I have this here because the hummingbirds love it I planted it in my garden just to attract the hummingbirds because I love to watch them all right so here we have you see what's happening to my pak choy something is eating it so we have two pak choys here I have a pepper and I have a tomato there and let's see what is getting big over here we have some peppers here we have some lettuce and we have uh, sweet basil that has been decimated by something's eating it so I need to address that my dill and my bush basil that I planted there we have turmeric uh, my lemongrass I can see new shoots coming out so I hope that catches itself and of course I have my papaya tree here I do eat the leaves this is Spanish thyme or big leaf thyme and here I have my rosemary so things are coming along getting big progresses in growth I will keep you posted okay guys so as you can see I gave my tomato trees uh, intense trimming and the reason why I did that was to allow it to have space to breathe. Let me kind of pull back. Um, I didn't want, if it's too thick with the foliage, you can end up getting, like I saw two stink bugs, for example. Because it was so thick, then bugs and other things can start to take over. But if you keep it, um sort of aerated not as um thick then it is easier for you to see if you either having stink bugs taken over or hornworms or even aphids and so forth so by trimming it off like this airflow um, can take place and then you can also see what's happening in terms of the health of your plant so really and truly we don't want the plant to focus on the leaves we want the plant to focus on the fruit so that's another reason why you would trim it of course you cannot take off all the leaves because it needs the leaves in order for it to, to be healthy okay guys so i have decided that i will um harvest some of these lettuce leaves um this like this outer leaves look really big so i'm gonna harvest it and leave the inner one to continue growing i'm just gonna pinch it off so i'm just gonna harvest these and i'll have it for dinner tonight and i'm just gonna mold up the rest of the um well i'm gonna mold up all the the lettuce plants so as you can see my lettuce has germinated um, my two of my bok choy has germinated and I can see the beans wanting to burst through so we have to wait for that I also see evidence that my kale I don't know if you can see here let me turn it around my kale here has started to burst through as well. If you can, let me see if I can get this to focus. Okay, so if you look, you can see the kale. It's also starting to burst through. And you know what? I can't remember what I put in here. I'll probably have to look back at my footage. But that hasn't burst through as yet. 
and my peppers haven't burst through as yet. Okay guys, so as you can see, my lettuce is getting big. And let's see what has burst through here. So this here is kale. So the kale has burst through. Our bok choy has burst through. And I'm seeing my one of my beans are bursting through here. This one still isn't bursting through as yet, but I can see that this one here, let me change this. I can see this bean here is starting to burst through. Right, so we have bok choy, bok choy, and kale. 